Hello, Vault Dwellers. Okay, so, um... Here we have my, uh, main camp. Call it camp number one. Nothing special. All of my five characters have exactly the same build. Yes, that was a chore. I'm not going to lie. It means when I build other bases, I haven't got to put in any crafting rubbish. They've all got a shop at the bottom. Ease of access. I like this because I get nuclear colas from it. Now, if you want to collect nuclear colas, depending on which one of these you have, I mean, especially if you have the Nuka Cola collection. If you have to, you have to select something first, and then when you go back into the computer, you can then actually see Nuka Colas pop up. But I'm pretty sure if you have the got this one fetch, or that gold bot, the gold bot, they'll collect anything for you. But just keep going through the menu so Nuka Cola pops up. You'll be quiet, please, Woofy. Again, I've made it super easy for people to find my shelter. Straight up in front of you. Crafting area. Ammo unit from the uh, set, uh, Raiders. Yeah. This is a living area. We've got a little exercise. Decontamination shower. Actually... Get rid of all your illnesses. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Alright, we're going to be completing a challenge. Do, do, do. Let's get that one. Plant the crops down in a camp or workshop. So we'll pop over here. We'll take that workshop because there's crops there you can plant. Hmm. Yes, this is my um, Vampire Heavy. I've now tricked him out with Nuka Cola. I have got a load stash in the box, but I've only got a couple on me. Makes you indestructible. I am rocking the excavator. This excavator is all assassins. And it took me a little while to roll it all, but it's there. And it has a jetpack. So it's usable. Yep, it's a vampire's minigun. My favourite gun, to be fair. It's not the most powerful, but it's enjoyable. And I think you've got to have fun, otherwise what's the point in playing any game? Righty ho. Let's get some crops. One, two, three, four.
There we go. They have these uh, prefabricated turret platforms built, and they do work pretty well. I've tried them twice the height, and it just causes bugs for them trying to actually find the enemies, so it's not worth putting them that high. They seem to do their job from up there. I mean, you, you can just use the traditional see-through towers, they'd probably be better to be honest. Or uh, blueprint that. That way the turrets can actually shoot through the floor then, it makes it a bit better. I actually like this paint job on the excavator. The last thing people expect is you to be PvP in them in an excavator suit, so it's always fun. I've put it together for my low level. I've got a level 70. And uh, it's the only way you get people to fight you on this game. People are not going to fight level, you know, 500 pluses. Not in a hurry anyway. Whereas most people have a go at a level 70 without a second thought. Not realising it's a bloody nuclear killing machine. <laughs> right, so that's that done. Well, it's double XP, so I'm pretty much going to be doing some grinding now. I'll tell you what, we'll do... We'll do a defend event and then I'll uh, let you all get on your merry way. Bit of advice, when you uh, take a workshop, put one of these down. You'll find it in this mist. You can only put one down, but it allows you to travel in right here when you spawn in the workshop rather than having to run from outside because that can be very annoying not so bad on these little settlements but some places you're going to be doing a lot of running i wonder what's going to attack us most likely here it's going to be super mutants or dogs the worst ones i don't like are mole rats they're just annoying. Very rarely you might actually get rad rats. They seem to be pretty rare these days. Oh, you do get robots here. That's right, yeah, you get robots. I don't mind robots. Lots of scrap, you know. That's scorch. <laughs> like they're over there. Now I am trying out this card here, boost my damage a little bit. I've been told it activates suppressor as well, so as soon as you become aggroed, their damage has dropped by 30% and they're not even actually shot at you yet. Well, sorry, you're not even shot them yet. Uh, I'm going to see if that works, you know. If that does, that's quite cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, they quite often get stuck behind things. Oh, here they come. So he mows them down. Let's just do it for comparison. Yeah. These things are overpowered, to say the least. I don't like using them that much, to be honest. Right then, I'll let you get on your way. Thanks for watching. There's nothing too exciting, but, you know, just the basics really. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.